So now moving back to the items on the agenda that we need to pick up that were left the other day. Um, so the part A is from the community boards. Item nine, the Banks Peninsula speed limit review. Um, Sarah was in the game. Are there any comments from staff on this as we start? We'll take the report as read, and obviously this went through the community board. All good. Any questions? Mike. Just making sure, first of all, that um, the recommendation from the community board is what staff's recommendation was to the community board. So there hasn't been any changes by the community board to the recommendation. No, not that I'm aware of. There was, uh, there was one typo that was picked up amongst the resolutions that was corrected at the time. Yep, my understanding is that the community board adopted the staff recommendation okay. that was put to the community board meeting, Thank you. so that was agreement. Okay, and, and also, um, and this is probably to you, Andrew, I, I mm. see that the community board wants to um, write to Waka Kotahi about the speed limit um, in Littleton. For Norris yes. City. I just thought yep. it might be a good idea for us to do that too from, from council to support them. Yep, absolutely. Um, do we need a resolution to do that or...? Maybe you can give an update on where we're at with... Um, so this is um, Norwich Quay in Littleton, which is part of the Waka Katahi State Highway Network, um, essentially the stretch of road that goes from the tunnel to the port gate. Um, and the community board's desire was to open a conversation with Waka Katahi about a 40-kilometre speed limit on that stretch of road as well, so that the whole of Littleton ended up in 40 kilometres, including the State Highway. Is there any update on that? Uh, yes, well, staff have continued to discuss that with Waka Katahi, and um, they are just about to go into a, a consultation phase on, on that part of the project for them, for State Highway 74. They are reviewing State Highway 75 at the moment as well. Um, and if that consultation is successful, they're envisaging the, the implementation of that to be in February or March next year. Um, what we're proposing to do is, uh, should the resolution be successful today for the rest of the streets in Littleton, to, uh, to hold off implementation and so that would coincide with NZTAs. And the result of that is significantly less signage on the side roads and less cost. Uh, those side roads are already quite, um, quite cluttered and busy. That was signage. the position that the community board also um, was comfortable with when it was discussed in the community board meeting. So Waka Kotahi are going to consult on a 40 kilometre speed limit for Norwich Quay. Yes. What's their timeline on that? Uh, they, will, they will need to be going out to um, consultation shortly if um, their implementation time frame is February, March. So I, I would suggest that's, that's fairly imminent. Uh, they, I understand they've done the planning work. But it's unfortunately something um, which is outside our control in terms of their timeline. Okay. So can you just... Um explain to the meeting the rationale behind the suggestion that we would hold off on implementation of the 40 kilometre speed limit for the rest of Littleton until such time as the um, state highway speed limit was in place. The the ideal uh, way to signpost an area-wide speed limit for Littleton is actually straight, straight at the end of the tunnel or the start of the tunnel. Um, otherwise, what happens is we'd have a, a 50 km an hour speed limit with numerous side streets coming off it with a different speed limit and, and stuff. Uh, a local authority is required to, um, to signpost where there is a change in speed limit. But whereas if the whole area is 40, it significantly minimises the amount of signage which is required. So, so for instance, we, we would be needing to look at signage at uh, Canterbury Street, uh, Dublin, Oxford, and some of the other side roads, and also the road round further to Littleton West, uh, whereas NZTA could, um, in practice, signpost directly out, out the tunnel, as they are doing now with the temporary yep. review, and um, th that would that would render the need um, to signpost those others, other roads um, gone. And then we would achieve the intention, which is the whole of Littleton, regardless yep. of which entry point you come in, you would pass through one set of signs that were a 40 kilometre speed limit sign, and the whole of Littleton, regardless of whether it's State Highway or our local roads, would be a 40 kilometre km speed limit. That, that's correct. There's, there's no intention at this stage to look at um, 40 kilometre an hour um, repeater signs, but that's something we can look at if, if, if the speeds... Um, 
are, are found to be higher than desirable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yes, that is the intent. And the alternative would be to implement this after the decision's made today um, and put up those 40 kilometre speed, li- speed limit signs at the bottom of Oxford Street, Canterbury Street, Dublin Street, and going around to Littleton West, and then presumably take those away again once Norwich Quay went to 14. You said that that's correct. What that, would be the cost involved in doing that? Andrew, if I could just step in. Mm. Uh, it's One of the key issues you've asked of us as officers is to do things, getting the basics right and doing things effectively and efficiently. Yep. So uh, the recommendation that staff are making, and, and by the sounds of it has been discussed with the community board, right. is that we do it once and we do it right. So I uh, just want to understand, because I'm not sure you're going to come with those figures in your head, are you, in terms of putting no, three or four signs on? No, and that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's going to confuse the public. I think it'd be better if we actually just yeah. did what is proposed. Yeah. All right, let's move to other questions. Sarah. Thanks. Um, just following on from both that and Mike's thing about us writing, if we just use the word from the wording from number one in part B, the, the board writing, and said that council write and add to it and requesting that it's done quickly so that we can enable the the full full implementation yep. Yep. Um, sooner rather than later, or something along yep. those lines. Yep. Yep. Left it done that would be, mm. yeah, yeah. All right, so if we can get a resolution that says not, that. You know, they're not known for their pace at yeah. doing anything. So, so if we can replicate the, if we just scroll back up again, <coughs> if we um, replicate um, resolution B1, part B1, into a council resolution, so that council write to Waka Kotahi, requesting that it consider lowering Norwich key speed limit to 40 kilometres an hour to align with local roads in Littleton um, and implement this as soon as possible. Yep. That's great. Yep. Yeah. And just a quick point. The, um, the report on this one um, doesn't have, under the recommendation to council, um, staff recommendation, uh, you know, unchanged, whereas all the other reports, um, the transport ones do. So, yeah, it's just, that was the checking, I think. From memory, the only change was that Typo. correction change. So there was a change, but it wasn't driven by the community board. It was just an error that was corrected. All right, any further questions? Yanni. Thanks. Um, I, was, I was interested in the fact that the um, it was pretty overwhelming for the Littleton Townships and surrounds of people that did not support. But then when I look at the number of submissions from the Littleton area, there's 32. And so there's about um, 90 that comment on Littleton. Are, are you able to give us some indication of um, the submissions that came from Littleton, what their view was of Littleton and why there was so much against Littleton and whether there were particular streets in terms of that opposition? Some people, and there's quite a few who I, I think were uh, fundamentally opposed to any speed limit changes. There were, there were others who questioned um, how they'd be enforced, and um, incidentally, we, we, we saw quite significant police enforcement over the last few months in Littleton um, around that same time. Um, and the other one was um, that there was a feeling that this would do nothing uh, to address boy racer issues or antisocial road user issues when the, I guess the primary reason for doing the speed limit changes is not to address um, those sort of activities. Uh, also, I think um, given, given that it went both to local residents and, and wider, uh, wider community, given that wider community does interact with Lewis, and that, that's why there's a, also a split in um, responses. So then certainly not only just from people in Littleton um, commenting on Littleton, people had the opportunity to comment on, on all the areas within the review. To, to understand is out of the 33 people that supported the changes in Littleton and the 32, well, sorry, out of the 30, 
two submissions that came from Littleton, how many of those were supportive of the speed limit changes and how many were against? Area. I'm not sure if I can um, answer that any more than the way it's the way, it's, the, way the, um, it's broken down is that of the, of the comments um, from that Littleton Township and surrounds there was there was 33 that responded in support and 54 did not support um, it, it's difficult to tell from that exactly where all those all those came from Yes, yes. Yeah, sorry. It's um, um yeah, that's why I was kind of keen to understand because it just struck me as quite a high opposition. Whereas most I mean generally when we consult on these things you get a lot of community support for lowering speeds. I think the other comment we had, and this was discussed at the community board meeting, is is that is that typically with um with speed limits we we can we can get we, we hear a lot from the people who are opposed to the proposals, but um for, for, for people who have um either put it forward to start with or supported it, we often don't, it doesn't result in a formal submission. Um, and, and we saw this throughout the review actually with locations that had been generated from the community, um, those people in the community did not actually make a submission, which was quite quite evident for some of the rural locations. Sorry, I appreciate the discussion on exactly this at the community uh, board meeting and the community board were very comfortable approving this, is probably worth saying. Yeah, I just think, this I mean, the problem with this report is you don't get a sense of what the local people's view was. And I mean, certainly it, it is an outlier. Like if you read through the other areas, you see quite clearly that, you know, the submissions are generally su supportive. So you might be able to, do you have any sense of why there were so many against Littleton? Um, I and and where exactly that, the opposition the, um, came from? Reasons that have, have just been explained. You know, the issues with um, enforcement, frustration with other road-based activities, boy racer activity in particular. All right. Okay. Just the only other question I was going to ask is the Norwich Quay, like, I know there's been ongoing issues with getting a better solution for the heavy vehicles. Where, where is that work all got to? And is that That's a really different matter than a speed limit review of Banks Peninsula. Yeah. So, so there's no there's no risk that we spend time lobbying for a speed limit review when the roading is going to change. There is no current plan to change the roading. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. So we're done with questions. Um, I'm happy to move this. Do I have a seconder, Sarah? Um, is there any discussion? All those in favour, say aye. Aye. Against. That's carried. Thank you. Um, next one up is um, item 10, the Akaro Commercial Recreation Mobile Trading Trial Season. Updates. 